It's time to go! go, go, go. has five stalkers out, but this observer here is keeping an eye on Okazuna's base. Looks like these stalkers here are now coming up. Let's see what kind of resources. Yeah, Valkyrie's way ahead in resources, thanks to him killing off a lot of Okazuna's workers. And that uh, barracks right here, Okazuna lost a barracks. So only has two marine barracks going. And checking over here at the expansion though, two more barracks are going up and a factory has been made. So let's see if Okazuna... can uh, come back in this game. <clears throat> we need some more pylons have been set up at this uh, Zelnaga tower. It looks like a Robo Bay has been moved up to the front line. Some stalkers are patrolling here, making sure Onizuka can is not trying to do anything funny like sneak out of his base. Ani's not really doing much of anything right now, just trying to get back into a good position here, making some uh, marines here. Not much going on at his main. Let's check out his expansion. His barracks are online, building a tech factory and a reactor to make double marines. His factory has now gotten a tech lab. Researching the siege tank mode, making a siege tank right now. Uh, making another barracks here. And it looks like Valkyrie's putting this uh, forward Robo Bay to great use. Uh, Colossus now appeared on the map with some more stalkers and some more zealots. Let's see, 21 workers for Onizuka to 47 of. Valkyrie, so Valkyrie's way ahead in the probe count. And it looks like Valkyrie's not going to wait for any more reinforcements. He's going to send his guys to finish off the job. These Marines are retreating because they're trying to form some kind of defensive line here to keep Valkyrie's guys from moving in. And there's the GG by Valkyrie. His three Colossi here and all his stalkers are just laying waste on Izuka's men. And these marines are falling back. They're not sure what to do. Valkyrie's just blowing through Onizuka's main. But over here, Onizuka's expansion is a different story. You got some siege tanks and some marines and some marauders coming out, still building some. Onizuka does have another card to play. And Valkyrie here is just having his fun time annihilating on Azuka's base. Making a proxy pile in here to warp in some more reinforcements. And these marines here are making a last stand, but they all die in a fiery, fiery death. It looks like he has taken out all of Onizuka's base. He's probably thinking to himself, why didn't Onizuka just GG the game, what's going on here? Looks like Onizuka sent his guys from his expansion into Valkyrie's base with some siege tanks and some marines, but some warped in stalkers here trying to make a defensive line. They take out the two siege tanks, but these marines and marauders are too much for them. All of a sudden, these double back, <coughs> these double back, uh, main army comes in and finishes off that little attack. So they're probably wondering where Onizuka's guy, uh, secondary base is. He probably has a good idea now, he's going to go scout around. And by the evidence of that siege blast right there, answered Valkyrie's question, so he's going to go in and try to attack Onizuka's now main base. And he Punch through that front line the defense. There's the GG by Onizuka. There's the GG by Valkyrie. Another win by Valkyrie. And another win for TG 
on the StarCraft ladders. Good job, Valkyrie. I'm Maverick, and I hope you enjoyed my cast. See you next time.